This Sunday we get a brand new episode of SEAL Team and joining us now live to tell us more about it is the star of the show, David Boreanaz. David, so good to see you again. Great to see you. Thanks for having me in Washington. Absolutely. Yeah. Season five. Congratulations. Bravo is on another special ops. What What's going on right now? Well, we're, we're the, actually the, the episode we've seen uh, on Sunday is a two parter. It's, it's the second part of the first one. We're right. in Korea and uh, we're really kicking off the season examining where we left off last year. There was some disruption to the Bravo team and we see them now actually on this operations, pretty intense operation. Um, it's fascinating about this episode, these two episodes is we didn't fire one shot. Uh, so it's, it's kind of this mysterious death defying operation and uh, we'll see how these characters evolve and start to kick off season five and going into a 9-11 episode after this one, which would be the 20th anniversary, which is a really great episode. We shot that in New York City. Wow. Uh, I think it was the first show to shoot at that ground zero area. Uh, and then we'll get into some great missions and then we'll study Jason Hayes's, you know, mental capacity and how to understand where he is with his TBI and his mm -hmm. PTS. And uh, it's going to be a really great season. The great thing about SEAL Team is you guys always film in some incredible locations. So for this operation, any cool place you guys got to go? Well, you know, obviously with COVID last yeah. year, we had to kind of be smart and kind of stay local. Uh, New York City was our big one, uh, actually shooting uh, at the... Uh, at the memorial there, the 9-11 area uh, where, at where Ground Zero happened. So uh, that was pretty impactful. It was an amazing experience just to be there. And it's a really special episode, uh, one that we're very proud of, and one that Spencer Hudnut, uh, the other executive producer, was uh, wanting to do for a while. We've been seeing you directing some of the episodes. Are you directing all season? Are you directing a few episodes? How's it going? I, I just finished directing episode eight, uh, which was great. It's definitely a different twist of type of an episode. We uh, open up and see all of Bravo team really wounded and in the hospital. And uh, as the episode progresses, we find out why they were in that hospital. And, uh, you know, it's, it's filled with uh, some intense moments, but also the contrast is uh, what these guys do uh, while they're waiting to heal for two days in a hospital in Germany is pretty funny. All right, David, I got to switch gears a little bit real quick because you just posted on Instagram a photo of you and Sarah Michelle Geller back from the days <laughs> of Buffy. I mean, yeah. gave such nostalgia and you were just yeah. so seemed so grateful. Like you're, you said, this is where it all began. I yeah. mean, it's just amazing to go back to that. How has that kind of taken you and just thinking back to those days? Wow, just a remarkable experience and uh, being able to be on a show like that. I mean, you know, I think everybody, it was, uh, people that are in this industry, uh, they can always remember, you know, when they cut that cloth and how they got in. And uh, for me, it was just a remarkable time and to, to do a show like that. And uh, yeah, it was Throwback Thursday, so yeah. I decided to throw back a little nostalgia <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> I mean, for my generation, I mean, it was game changer and something we always remember. So we always will remember you as Angel, but we also love you as Jason Hayes. David, thank, thank you so very much. Congrats on season five. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody in Washington. Hello, everyone, and enjoy the, sh enjoy the season. We will do. All right, you can catch the new SEAL team this Sunday at 10, uh, 10 p.m. Uh, right here on WSA 9.